Hey, what's going on? It's Joey from the Hitting Performance Lab. Mr. Rhino, what's going on, man? Hey, here's what's up. Let's take a look at your swing first. And what I'm going to do, I've actually found something. When I compared your swing right now to Anthony's, and I was just trying to see what is out of place, what's what seems to be missing. And we'll find out in a little bit. Let's take a look at your swing first. And one thing that is awesome is this forward momentum. You're creating, you're unweighting this bat, whereas before we didn't really get this action with the hips. Look at that. I think that Babe Ruth drill has been paying off. Hey, you can see we have our marker way out here, probably is a little far out. Well, actually, you're probably about right because your back foot is quite a quite a bit behind this back marker. So we're probably about right. <clears throat> But what you see, good forward momentum, good hip action, I mean, that looks just like Babe Ruth right there. Just As you pick your foot up, you see those hips already starting to travel forward. So that looks super awesome. Getting the foot down, and then from here it seems to, we seem to start bleeding force somewhere. And we're, we're getting good, we're unweighting the bat very well, we're getting good forward momentum. We're getting good shoulder angle down like this front shoulder is our gun sight. We're also, on this particular day, I know we were showing our back or our letters, our back number and letters to the pitcher. So we were getting, we got the catapult loading system working. But there's just one thing, once we go to launch, that seems to be missing. Because what you'll see is your back foot's coming off the ground too early and your hips just aren't getting through that way. Hey, watch your hands race right past. Boom! Hands are like lightning. We've got to slow those things down a little bit and get your torso going first. Because our hands are just the end of the power chain. They aren't the beginning of the power chain. We want to make sure that we got the spine and the torso delegating to the hands and not the other way around. So as you can see, the back foot is coming off the ground. Our hips, I know that we're wearing black and we're in black and black so it's kind of tough to see those hips but as you can see from what we can see that those hips are lagging a little bit behind the hands and that's going to be a tough thing. You're going to be always out, you're going to have a hard time fighting being out in front and we were today, the, on this particular day we we're pulling we we're pulling quite a bit but it's causing your arms, watch what kind of arms, you're, you lose your bat, your barrel path a little bit. You get good, pretty good here. They go pretty good and then because your hips are lagging behind you get this weird right here, this this position, this here and then roll over and you can see your shoulders kind of even up, go up and you shrug that back shoulder. Similar to Anthony. See that? It's a very upper body swing and then our finish seems very awkward. Okay, see how it kind of, it looks like you're going to finish around your shoulder but then you go up. So it's very, it just seems like very inefficient. Okay, so alright, so check this out. So I'm going to split screen you. I'm going to bring you up to where Anthony is. Okay, so about right there. I'm going to get you guys in the screen. I'm going to sync your swings. Okay, bring you both back. Thanks to Ford Momentum, you guys are doing a good job with it. Okay, here we go. There we go. You guys are, I have to move the screen. Alright. So you guys are both synced up on the same part of your swing, same same position of swing. All right, so both of you look pretty similar. Obviously, Anthony's not, he's slightly open. You're more open than him. You're a little bit more narrow, but you guys are about the same. Okay, you guys both lift up. Okay, he doesn't bring a knee in like you do. He just kind of leaves it out there, similar to a slide step. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how we get there, as long as we get there. All right, so here, here's, you're still similar. Okay, as both of you fall forward, very quiet, beautiful. Here's where it starts to diverge. How you both both you guys' swings start to differ a little bit. Okay, Anthony's creating a lot of force. Notice the barrel. Look what the barrel is. So I don't I think that's fine where you have it right now, but look what happens to it compared to Anthony. Okay, I'm gonna give you a, a better visual here. Okay, so okay, see how it's yours is starting to leak 
away from you starting to come out. Anthony's is still loaded up leaking more. Anthony's is still loaded up. We've gone about six or so frames. Okay, and this is look at heel touch. You got I think you touched down a little sooner. But just about like one frame difference in your heel tap heel heel tap. But you've already started leaking that barrel a good five or six frames before this heel touch. Remember I talked about once the heel hits the ground, it sends a signal through your leg, which is a leverage point, to your hip to get your hip to start opening. Now, yours is lagging behind a little bit because your body's trying to compensate because you've already started to leak that barrel out. See all this action? That was a horrible one. Sorry. See all this action going on with the barrel, and Anthony's is still locked in. Okay, now this, and, and the barrel's still staying here, it's still by his head, if you notice. While he's opening his hips, and you can see everything's kind of lagging behind. And look at where your barrel's at. Big difference between the where the barrel is and according to where your head's at, in relation to where your head's at. See this here? And then Anthony here, this is a huge leak going on. Now, now Anthony's barrel starts to come towards its target. See, now you've already back here. Anthony's barrel is starting to starting to open up a little bit. So, can you see what's happening here? We're leaking our barrel out, and if I back back it up, you can see the difference of where our, our barrel starts to leak, 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 leak. Okay, now we get into almost almost the same position, but your barrel's already started traveling. But see, the difference is, is Anthony's swinging with more torso and spine involvement, which is how human us humans have learned to move over hundreds of thousands of years. Whereas yours, you're leaking that barrel. So what I want you to work on this week is I want you to work on keeping that barrel close to your head, like Anthony here. Let's erase all this. Keeping your barrel close to your head like Anthony, and then once that heel touches down, you can see where Anthony's heel touches down, then we can release it and let it go to the ball. See how quick? I mean, that's from the time Anthony, that barrel starts to come away from his, his, his head, you, start, you see one, two, three frames, and he's almost in the impact zone. See that? Where yours almost took, I mean, it was eight, eight to ten frames. All right, if you got any questions on that, just, just know where to find me, bro. But I think we got it. Work hard.